I think what we see, what we've seen in recent times is um, gold establish a new base. So it, it comes under pressure uh, with the Fed rate hikes in the US. So, you know, for 10 years we had no rate hikes and then we had a very overly anticipated one at the, uh, at the end of um, 15. So the, uh, the gold got, fell under pressure with this rate hike and got down to, you know, 10, 80 or whatever US dollars. Now we're seeing more rate hikes and they're putting pressure on gold, but it's pushing you down to 1220. So you come, you know, you seem to have established a, a new base. So I think the rate hikes will be able to get through. Um, the biggest correlation, which most people know about, is that gold has that inverse correlation to real interest rates. So that's interest rates after adjustment for inflation. So that still seems to hold true. We do see these geopolitical events, whether it was in the past, Greece going, you know, going south or rockets in North Korea. What we find is they have very short term influences. They can cause a spike might be great if you're trying to do some hedging or whatever, but they don't necessarily last for too long unless they start to create real global problems. Even under these challenges, uh, we seem to be holding a pretty good gold price and, and a good one in Australian dollars. I think what I would look to see is to see if there wouldn't be a, a shift in well, the way gold's thought of in the investment portfolio. In the old days, many years ago, a bit of an investment portfolio would have some gold or an exposure to gold into it. If we look at the big global and the big US pension funds, for example, if they just went to half a percent physical gold or something, we wouldn't have enough gold. So uh, if gold starts to come in, there's a wee bit more thinking in the uncertainties of the world and how the big investment houses and funds and pension funds think, then that could cause a bit of a structural shift in, in how we see gold because it still can be quite dominated by jewellery but you know last year investment gold overtook gold jewellery by demand so there's a bit of a signal there. Mm -hmm.